this here was my old tripod for recording game night and loot crate and all the other kind of in real life stuff we do. The microphone usually sits there for some things. I uh, just got train heist set up right now for the example, but if we pull out here, this is a new tripod. Technically a boom microphone stand. Uh, on the end of the boom microphone stand there is a 5 8 inch adapter to 1 quarter adapter and a swivel head and the uh, phone mount which costs like a buck that I usually use to, to stick on the end of tripods. Uh, I usually used to live on the end of this one but now it's going to probably live up there for most of its life. Um, and yeah, so now instead of getting shots like this you're going to be getting shots like this. So that's uh, exciting. You get overhead shots nice and clear. Uh, leaves room for the microphone, leaves a lot of room on the table for other stuff. This guy's not going to be taking up like a four square inches almost of space, whatever he takes up. Uh, the microphone will still be taking up a bit of space, but that's, that's okay. We can deal with that and we can actually center it, which is nice. The other thing we can do, if we adjust this guy, uh, so I'm probably going to need two hands of this, hang on. So now that this is adjusted a little bit, uh, we can actually get shots where it's more like uh, you would be looking as if you were actually sat at the table. This could probably even go a little bit lower here as well, uh, just to complete such a look. Uh, the microphone will have to be moved and, and all that good stuff. The, Cameras are actually clipped in right now. Um, but yeah, it's as if, well I dropped that, but it's as if you were looking at the board from the table. And then going into the future here, uh, what I really would like to do, I'd like to incorporate uh, the little tripod over there again. Um, but I would also like to get a either a gorilla pod or some kind of tripod grip. I suppose not a tripod at that point, but uh, a gripping camera mount uh, that could stick on here, give you the head height shot and the overhead shot up there somewhere at the same time and then I can edit it in post or, or whatnot or if we ever did a live board game play then I believe YouTube supports multiple camera angles so then that could be a thing, you can either see overhead or you could see uh, from head height or you could see from the mini cam there which would be like looking at hands or some detail or could be used to maneuver around to show detail uh, that obviously requires extra cameras and all that good stuff as well so that's why it's uh, the $600 patron goal I believe um, also the $1,000 patron goal is a face reveal after that the plan would be to get a 360 camera mounted for the head height so then whenever we were doing a, a game night play the 360 camera would be a head height for you guys and if you were to watch there would probably be a special release 360 version of the content you could sit at the table and kind of look around essentially which would be kind of cool, I think. Um, that's still a long way off on Patreon, though. Um, but without your support, I wouldn't have got this. So Patreon does does certainly help. This is this is this is Patreon right here, coming in into fruition, and all the the grow up and the Deus Ex and all the the other games and stuff. That's all from Patreon. So your support does definitely go a long way, and I. Thank you guys so much for it.